Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different and a little bit special because I'm actually doing a makeup tutorial using all vegan makeup products today. I've been really interested in this topic for a while, this vegan and cruelty free makeup topic for a while and I've been kind of doing my research on it a little bit. Before we get to the tutorial part of this video, I definitely want to share with you what vegan makeup is in case some of you guys are not aware of that. So a product that is considered vegan makeup product does not contain any animal ingredients or animal derived ingredients. This includes but is not limited to honey, beeswax, lanolin, collagen, carmine, gelatin and many others. Vegan products also mean that the product is free from animal testing as well which means that the brand has to be cruelty free in order to um, you know even produce vegan makeup I would think through my research here in the past few weeks like I have not come across any brand that does do vegan makeup but is not cruelty free let me know if I'm wrong about this uh, or not there are definitely so many blogs and so many websites that talk about vegan makeup in general and what's considered vegan and not but the things that kind of stand out to me are you know products that contain either beeswax or carmine. I definitely know that a lot of eyeshadow palettes are not considered vegan because they do have pigments that have carmine in them. So carmine is a pigment of bright red color obtained from the aluminum salt of carminic acid or it's extracted from bugs I guess. Some palettes uh, do need reds in them uh, so they definitely have carmine in them which is why they're not considered vegan. Do check the ingredient list whenever you consider buying vegan makeup. That's the best way to see if a product is vegan or not. So for example, I'll show you that if you definitely go to Sephora website and you search for vegan makeup, there are a lot of items that show up as vegan. And then if you filter by category and by makeup, then here it will show you a lot of products that are vegan makeup in general. Now a lot of the brands that are on Sephora definitely carry vegan makeup but in their description, in their product description, it doesn't say vegan. But when you go to their individual website, then under that product description it says vegan. So definitely, you know, do your research. For example, I'll show you. I'm going to go to Wet n Wild beauty because wet n wild has a lot of products that are vegan now if you go down and if you go to their faq section and if you go to number 10 it says are wet n wild products vegan then it will take you to a list here it says click here for a list of our vegan products and it will give you all of the items here that are currently vegan and they're displayed on their website. So that's another way the company usually lists, you know, which of their cruelty-free products are vegan. So that's all the information I had today to share with you guys regarding vegan makeup. All right, so if you guys are interested in this makeup tutorial and you wanna see what products I use for today's look, then keep on watching. I've already done my brows off camera and for that I have used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil. Usually I use my L'Oreal Brow Definer, but this one is not vegan, so I had to switch and use the ABH Brow Wiz today, which is equally as good. Before I go ahead and do my eye makeup, I'm gonna add on primer and foundation. For primer today, I'm gonna be using the No Problem Primer from Touch and Soul. This is one of my favorite primers of all time. It's really, really good. So this Touch and Soul primer is really really good. I really enjoy using it and the bonus is that it is a vegan product. So I'm quite happy about that. For foundation today I'm going to go ahead and use the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. Hourglass does do vegan makeup so I thought I would use this product today for foundation. I have a few blemishes going on here. Uh, because it's that time of the month, so that's why I chose a full coverage foundation today. I'm going to use my Kabuki brush to just blend this in. I'm 
now I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit closer and then we'll get started with the eye makeup tutorial. For the eyeshadow palette today, I have chosen the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. Now, uh, if you look on their website, it does say that this is a vegan palette, so that's why I chose to use this today. Okay, so the first shade I'm gonna go in with is this shade right here. I'm gonna put that in the crease. It's a soft brown shade. Again, really easy tutorial today. A lot of Colourpop palettes are vegan, but then again, some of the palettes that contain carmine in them, they're obviously not vegan, but they're definitely cruelty free. I'm going to use this shade right here. This is a dark brown shade. I'm going to use that in my crease and outer third of the eyes. Same brush I'm using. Take a flat brush and go in with this shade over here and I'm going to pack that on the mobile lid. It's a very very pretty shade. Next I'm going to go in with this shade over here and I'm going to put that in the inner third of the eyes just to brighten things up a little bit. So just in the inner corner there. Go back in with this dark brown shade to blend everything together. Take this black shade over here and I'm going to smudge this on the top lash line. Put a little bit of this black shade through the crease as well just on the outer corners and then blend it out. Take the same dark brown shade and also the black shade in the lower lash line. On my brow bone, I'm going to go in with this light gold shade. For my liquid liner today, I've chosen the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in black. I'm not going to do a wing today. For mascara today, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Alright guys, so I'll add on some false lashes and I'll be right back and then I'll get to finishing off the rest of my makeup. For my concealer today, I'm using the Stellar Limitless Concealer. I'm blending this in with my Real Techniques brush. Alright, for powder today, I'm going to go in with this RMS Beauty Tinted Unpowder. I really enjoy RMS Beauty from time to time. They have really beautiful products that are natural. They're a little bit more on the expensive side. Alright guys, so now I'm going to contour my face using the AVH Contour Kit. This is light to medium. I do own a medium to dark, but I cannot find it anywhere. I'm going to go in with this shade right here to contour. Just a really light contour. Alright 
Okay, I'm actually going to brighten my under eyes a little bit more using this banana shade right here. Just underneath the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and do bronzer next and for that I'm going to be using the ColourPop Up The Anti Bronzer and Highlighter Duo. Just go over it a little bit. For blush today, I have chosen the Too Faced Peach My Cheeks Melting Powder Blush. This one is a cream blush. But it's a really, really beautiful shade and I'm going to use this today. And this gives you a really natural, beautiful, peachy flush to the skin. It's stunning. For highlighter today, I'm going to go in and use Jouer products. Um, I love Jouer highlighters in general. This one is in the shade Rose Gold. I'm going to use my Morphe brush for this. It has a little bit of a golden undertone. Actually, I'm going to go in and use the Up The Ante uh, highlighter. I'm going to just top that off and put that on my nose. For my lip liner today, I'm going to go ahead and use the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in the shade Trendsetter. To top it off with the liquid lipstick, I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Gemini. Alright guys, that's it. That completes today's makeup tutorial using all vegan makeup products. So definitely leave me some comments down below as to what you guys think about vegan makeup in general. Do you guys like vegan makeup? Do you guys not care? Do you guys actively look for vegan makeup products when you go to buy them in the store? Um, yeah, so leave me some comments down below. You know, I would love to know and get more information on vegan makeup in general. All the products that I used today obviously were all vegan makeup. I did do my research individually on each item. If some of these items were not mentioned on Sephora, whether they're vegan or not, I definitely went and check the individual website to see if these products were vegan so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit the like button share subscribe to my channel so that you can come back here for more good content have a great day or night wherever you are and i'll see you in my next video bye guys